another project, a very different project than my journals, than what you're normally used to seeing. I decided to work on a little home decor project uh, and I wanted to alter these very cute clipboards that I got from Make a Pretty Life. That is the website that I got it from and it's a sister company to Fancy Pants. This was a very cute set that came with four clipboards, but I decided to use only the three smallest of the set. I'm playing around with my photos here and I decide to use this one here coming up. The, uh, one of my favorite photos from our this past summer trip that we took to Yellowstone. We went on a hike and my husband took that with his phone and it just you know not really trying to create the perfect photo i think we ended up with the perfect photo we were going on this hike and and uh, we were out there pretty early in the day and the fog was pretty high and our chances of running into a bear were pretty high but the fact that it was so foggy it just kind of made things a little eerie and in the end we ended up not seeing any bears at all but anyways, that's just a little backstory that goes with that photo there. And then now to tell you about the paper, this is a beautiful kit or a, I should say a collection, the Dream Big Collection by Fancy Pants. And the awesome thing with this set here is that when you buy the clipboards, the set comes with enough paper and enough supplies to decorate your photo, your clipboards, to, to create the whole project. But I had bought this set for another project and so I had extra materials that they match. So it worked out just perfect. So you'll see me use a, a few different things that, um, that come from the kit um, that might not have come from the set that came with the clipboards. So I'm starting with the background. I took all the clips, <laughs> the clips from the clipboard. I took those off so that it wouldn't get in my way as I was working on it. And I am using some decoupage to attach this beautiful mustard. I love this color. It's a little mustard color uh, with a very tiny stars as the background. Next, I wanted to add a little bit more texture and dimension or whatever you want to call it to the page. I wanted to kind of, you know, get some mixed media going since that's my new thing for the year. So I'm using a Dabber Distress Paint by Ranger and it's kind of like an off-white color. And so I'm just randomly applying it and dabbing it and then drying it off. And it kind of took a while for that to dry, even though I didn't put a lot of paint. But I kind of took that off of the video so that you didn't have to see all of that. I wanted to keep adding a few more layers of texture, so I wanted to use uh, more stencils. Because again, that's another new thing that I've been trying to add to my repertoire. Hey, there's a fancy word. <laughs> So I want to use, you know, stencils this year in as many projects as I can. And so I'm using a stencil by the work, the crafters workshop. I don't know why I get tongue tied whenever I'm videotaping and doing voiceovers. I just get so stuck in so many words. Anywho, I use uh, some modeling paste with some green paint to create that texture there. And it dried a little darker than I that I expected so then you didn't get to see me add some of the layers of the paper to that photo because my little taping got all wonky and out of sequence so I took that part out but I should tell you that when I bought the the set the collection you had an option too if you wanted to buy a little six by six paper pad which I did because I really liked the smaller version of the papers because the pattern gets smaller. Some frustration there. <laughs> I got some, I don't know, uh, glue on my table there and I didn't like that. So 
like I was saying, I use a smaller pattern paper so that the, the pattern itself would show even though I'm covering a lot of it with the photo. I used this little butterfly that I liked because it just kind of matched that green and the blues and that mustard color and it was kind of about nature, the photo is about nature so I thought it went pretty well with it. There is a, what do we call this, a die cut sheet of paper that came and all these little dies they came you know in that 12 by 12 sheet and they're all perforated so you just kind of tear them off. I'm using some flowers. There's the little 6 by 6 paper pad that you see there. I really like that. I've been using it a lot. Um, there is another project that I am working that I worked on using this kit or this collection and that's why I have so much of the product because I created or I made a junk journal using this collection for my big picture classes that's coming up here. Uh, it's going to be released um, February 26th. I'm very excited about that. A shameless plug here since I got your attention. <laughs> so it's kind of cool because you get to see this kit here using this, you know, we're now working on this project. And then if you decide to go check out that class, you'll see me create a junk journal from beginning to end. I, My uh, best friend and I went to Waco, Texas to visit uh, the Magnolia Market. And so I created that junk journal to take with me on our trip. And then I just from beginning to end created and documented our entire trip. So that is the reason why I have so much of this kit here. So I finished adding, oh yeah, Sorry, getting back to the project. Where was I? <laughs> I tried to add a few more little embellishments and the mustard background there has some stars. That's what the pattern is. So I found this little puffy stars and then I'm just adding a few more of those around the layout. I say layout, but you know what I mean. I'm always working on my journal, so I say layout or page. So there's a little close up there. This is the largest of the three. So the other two are gonna go pretty quick here and then you can see those there. And that is a six by six little clipboard there. Really cute size. I'm using more of those little uh, papers from the six by six paper pad. Because the clipboard is square and my photo is square, I decided just to Make it kind of simple and just put it straight in the center. And then you can see if you were to see the 12 by 12 page that matches that. Obviously the pattern is a large, a large, larger flowers. So using a smaller pattern on a smaller project is I think it's always best. Another little backstory there for that photo. On our way home from Yellowstone, we stopped in Utah to see the Arches National Park. Uh, we visited the mighty, well, we try to do what they call the Mighty Five, which is all the five, um, you know, parks in Utah, but we didn't get to see all of them back in 2013. We did not get to go to Arches, and so we decided on our way home from Yellowstone, we made a stop there for a couple of hours and just did the park really quick and that photo just turned out so beautiful that I ended up using it for my Christmas card and there were a few people who thought that it was a fake that we were not that we had not gone there and I said no we were there so then I added a little um, tag and did some I'm not gonna use oh wait I haven't done it yet you'll see it there in a minute I was gonna use the D word, doodling. <laughs> so, but instead of saying that, I'm gonna say I did some, I drew some lines around the tag. But first I attached a little piece of Baker's twine. This kit, um, the collection, the Dream Big collection, uh, the paper, the colors, it, they're very pretty. It's blacks and that mustard, and then there's some red. 
so that's you'll see use you'll see me using a little bit more right there so there I am drawing not the other word <laughs> very simple little layout and I think I hope these are gonna look cute I'll try to take a photo of where they end up being hung in my craft room and all the little embellishments there are from the they came in that perforated uh, die cut sheet I think you saw it a little while ago but I was rambling about something else But it's a really really cute kit I end up adding a few more flowers and because the flowers are I don't know how to describe them they're they kind of have a little watercolor hand-drawn um, they don't look you know I don't know I'll call them realistic so I think that's why I can get away with using flowers in this type of photos or this type of project now don't ask me why I did not edit all this, you know, me messing around with where to put things, but sometimes I think it's, it might be better so you can see that, you know, we all struggle and you got to look at things and see, you know, the position, if you like it that way, if, you know how I describe it is I really, truly, I look at it and it's almost like seeing something unorganized. Uh, my eyes tend to see it that way it's like nope if I put it here it looks unorganized and then when I put it in a certain spot then everything just kind of looks clean and like it makes sense I hope I didn't sound crazy right there because kind of did but but that's how truly how I look at it so I added a few little stars to kind of keep going with the theme matching the theme of stars and Again, you know, keeping since I'm gonna probably group them together when I put them on the wall, that's gonna be kind of nice. And this is a teeny teeny one. I think the photo is like a two and a quarter by a two and a quarter. And so I wanted the photo, I mean, you know, they were, I knew they were gonna be small, but I wanted them to still be able to, you know, recognize what the photo was about. There's that red. The junk journal turned out so beautiful with this collection. I still have enough supplies to make, I don't know, I'll have to figure out what else I'm gonna make. There is that die cut sheet. Is that what they're called, die cut sheets? Or, you know, they're just, they're already perforated, you just, pull apart I was trying to use more of those stars and did I already mention that the kits of the when you buy the clipboards they come with the paper that you need to decorate them I've, I've already done this is like my second try doing this voiceover so I I probably said it on the other one and I forgot so I think I'm repeating myself, but I don't know. So if I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the kit, when you buy this set of clipboards, it comes with supplies to decorate them. So again, sorry if I've already said that. Now these puffy stickers did not come with the set of clipboards. I had those from you know, the other set that I bought. I hope that makes sense a few more little stars and I'm gonna be done here pretty quick so I hope you liked it this is definitely different than uh, all my other videos you know I, I do everything I love everything crafty so I hope that's not a bad thing that I start putting out not just journals but you know, I do project life. I'm starting to do that. At least videos. I've done it before. But this little project is its super cute. And you know, whenever we have holidays, I do work on a Valentine's project or a Christmas project. 
Halloween, but I don't know if people are interested in those. So I'm going to give it a try and see what you think. So I will have close-ups at the end and links to the supplies, to all the kits, the different options that you have. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you like this type of videos, let me know too. I mean, if no one's interested in these, like, you know, non-journaling projects, let me know. I do like these myself, but you know, so let's give it a try and see how it goes. So as always, friends, I hope that you make the time to get crafty and get something done fun for yourself today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will add a list of everything that I use in some close ups also at the very end. So until next time. Bye.